hi welcome back on my channel and i've got some nice tutorial for you it is going to be a little bit funny i'm embarrassed of it oh my goodness so i will be doing my right hand with my left hand again but this time we are going to create the design so check how they turn out because the image is absolutely beautiful and I'm well impressed but during the video you will see that it was a nightmare I was struggle and my hand was shaking like this I just couldn't stop it so I think maybe I was a little bit stressed just because it was the first time ever when I was doing the design with my left hand but I hope I have managed let me know down in the comments below what you think of this tutorial and I hope you will have a fun watching it So we are going to do my right hand with my not dominant hand and I will start off with cleaning them with the blue scrub which is a needle dehydrator just because I was washing my hands and doing other things and I don't want any surprises. And we will go for a white and silvery look. So on these two needles I want to apply the chrome powder and to apply the chrome powder we need to use the no wipe gel top coat and that's the one I'm going to use so I'm just applying on the entire nail you know what guys I do this way so my hand doesn't shake because it's a difficult hand. Like make sure your top coat goes really well. Because chromes always shows any kind of imperfections. I think it will be a nice look. Again, I'm not sure 100% what exactly we are going to do. I've got some bits and pieces. That's almost gone. That's it. She says and she keeps going. Yeah, but never leave any bits and pieces on the top coat where you want to put the chrome on. So I'm going to cook it for exactly 60 seconds. And the chrome I want to use is a Metal Manix from the Indigo. It's a really nice chrome because if you use it on the top of the other color, it doesn't change the color. Uh, so you can still see this color coming through it. Uh, but to save the time, because we are going to put the design on top of it, I'm going to go straight into the plain needles. So I'm putting a tiny bit of this chrome into the lid because I've got too long needles to reach it from the pot. And I will clean my finger with the needle dehydrator to make sure there is no bits and pieces. I think it will be nice to do Swarovski Pixie as well because I loved it last time. So I want some Swarovski Pixie on my nail too. That's my nail almost cured. So I'm dabbing in my finger into the chrome powder and I'm going to wrap this into the nails. There we are. So I'm just dabbing first, just like this. So you want to apply some product on first. And once you've got this product on, you go and pick up more chrome and you start rubbing it in. So I keep rubbing.
just to speed up the work. Because what I want to do is, with my finger, I want to remove the excess of those tiny, tiny bits and pieces of the scrum. You can see that start getting nice. Awesome. Once I'm happy with this step, if I want the chrome to stay on, I need to edge the surface of the free edge. If I don't, then the top coat and the chrome is going to chip. So touch, touch, touch. It's really just to create a couple of scratches because the gel doesn't stick into the shiny uh, surface. Once I have done this step, I can remove the dust. And we are going to apply the top coat. Pretty difficult with the left hand. <laughs> But wait till we get to the design. You will be able to see my hints and tips and the struggles doing her designs with my left hand. Okay, so I've got the top coat applied, but again, I want to save some time. So I'm going to go for a base gel. And I'm applying a thin layer of the base gel on my pinky. It is a soak of base gel. Uh, actually, I show you guys. So that's the soak of base gel I have used. And then I'm going for a, again for a no wipe coat gel straight into the uncure base. I find that this is the best way to secure the Swarovski Pixie, then it never comes off. So I'm going to open the Swarovski Pixie and sprinkle it on this needle. Oh wow! Once I'm happy, I'm going to cure it all. So this way I save the time. Sorry, you can see my hands in the cameras because we're working the opposite way. We are also going to need some design with the paint on French gel and I will paint some roses with my left hand. Yes, you can start laughing now. <laughs> I never try it. I hope it will work. <laughs> if not, we will swap the roses for, I don't know, <laughs> for something. Cool. So I didn't cure it a uh, full time because, again, I want to save it, uh, save your time. And I'm going to grab my Micro Styler number 40 brush. It's a pretty nice brush for the designs. Paint on French gel. As you all know, it's my favorite one. And I'm going to put a scoop of this gel on the side in here. And yeah, let's start painting some roses. <laughs> so my hand is nice and steady. <laughs> Ish. Ah, <sighs> okay. <laughs> so this is going to be fun. I'm going, <laughs> I don't want to start even. <laughs> I'm going to, oh crap. Okay, I'm going to do a swirly bit in the middle. OK, 
Can you see me concentrating so much? Oh my goodness, can you see this hand shaking so much? Okay, cameraman, let's stop this tutorial. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Oh no, guys, I, I want like thousand millions of the likes for that. Painting roses with the left hand, eh? So shaky. So basically, my hand is so shaky that I have to follow the shake. Okay, this rose starting look like a dead rose, but I'm missing one petal here. Okay, I've got one rose. Now I want a smaller one in the corner here. I should find a way to to stabilize this hand so it doesn't shake. No, that's wrong. <laughs> okay. This is a small bat rose. Okay, I've got two, then I want one more, and here again, small one. <laughs> Sorry, cameraman is laughing now as well. But it's all for you guys. It is really all for you. Okay, I've got it. I have managed to stabilize my hand ish. Actually, I think these roses will look nice because of those handshakes. Okay, couple more petals. So when you're doing those kind of design on your right hand, you better ask your friend to paint it for you. Okay, and uh, let me check this view. I'm missing a tiny, tiny, tiny petal just in here. Oh, I've got it. Perfect. So I've got roses down in a corner. And actually, I'm quite liking them with all those shakes. <laughs> if we've got roses, we need some kind of swirl or something. Oh my goodness, I'm crazy. Swirl, how to paint? No, forget the swirl. We need something there. Okay, 
So that's the best position for me. I'm full of tears from laughing. That's enough. I'm scared to do anything else. And if you're scared of doing something, then do the dots. Ta-da! Okay, that's the one that's finished. It's actually quite cute. I need to sprinkle it with the sugar. Oh guys, this is so funny. And this sugar is really nice. Perfect. So once I've got this sugar here, I want to do the same sugar on this needle again to save the time. I'm going to do it at the same time. So to do the sugar, I'm applying the top coat on the entire needle. Believe or not, I'm tempted to do more roses on my index finger. So decent amount of the top coat. And a sugar. What I'm doing, I'm just sprinkling, uh, sprinkle the glitter over the snail. To save the product, the one from the wipes. And yeah, that's, I'm happy. I can cure it, so that's what we've got in here. I'm going to give it a cure, even a couple seconds, because I don't want to damage all those hard work we have done with the roses. And then we will move on into the index finger. But the index finger, I need to give it a scratch, because I want some crystals on it as well. I think it will look nice with some crystals, yeah. And the middle finger, we should go either for a pixie or we should go for white. So that's the flash cure done. I like the sparkle here, so I think I'm going to go for more sparkle there. Yeah, I'm going to go for more sparkle there. So again, we're going to use the base gel. Okay, nice and decent amount. Top coat. And the reason why we're applying the top coat as well, the base has an inhibition layer, so does any other gels. And this inhibition layer can go over the crystals, but if we've got the no wipe top gel, it's kind of ready to go, it's all dry. So again, big sprinkle. Tiny bit more. 
I think like it's better if you sprinkle for longer and um, this way you get more crystal stocks in. That's it. That's me happy. So I'm going to give it a cure. Now I just want to tidy up this mess a little bit so no disasters happen. And we can move on into another painting of the wee swirly beads. I think my hand stopped shaking. It did. Cool. So yeah, we will go for a swirly beads and rose as well. Or only a swirly beads. That's great. So I'm preparing my brush nice and thin. Sorry guys, I'm not going to talk a lot, so we can speed up this part. I can breach now. <laughs> uh, so that's the roses finish on this one. And we are going to sprinkle it. Yeah, and then that will be all set finished. So let me cure that exactly a 60 seconds, all of it, so it doesn't come off and then I can clean it. And I can show you the final look of my right hand done by the left hand. But yeah, I don't know what's happened to my left hand. It was like this. So yeah, that's my nails almost cured. And <laughs> I hope you have liked this uh, tutorial. A bit funny. Uh, but I thought I will show you like that everyone's got on um, a huge struggle doing the right hand with the left hand. And those shakes, yeah, they were brilliant. <laughs> I think I won it with them. Anyway, I'm removing the dust from the sugar nail. And that's how it looks. Really nice. I really like it. And if we've got the sugar, what I'm doing to protect it, it as well, I'm taking a file and I'm just scratching the free edge to make sure it's not going to be catchy. So that's the sugar. That's the sugar on this one as well. And actually sugar make it look better. The roses much better. 
I can remove the sugar on this ones. And same with the Swarovski picks, you can see there are some sticking out crystals. So what I'm doing is I'm touching with the nail file because I don't want that on my nail. So this way everything is staying nice with no trouble. And I had this Swarovski pixie for about six weeks on some previous sets of the nails and I really loved it like um, that it was looking good for an even long time. Now taking a UV cleanser just to clean the um, chrome powder which I've got on my fingers but also what I'm going to do as well that will prove that even if we wash the hands the sugar doesn't come off because I'm really rough now cleaning the skin from the chrome pigment and as you can see it the glitter doesn't come off even if it doesn't have a top coat because that's another thing which lots of you have asked me a question about it so i'm just going to redust it again take a baby wipe to clean those nails and i show you the final look i should apply the cuticle oil as well but i show you the final look of those set like this I think they turn out pretty good, uh, especially this one, the first shaky roses compared to the second ones. And yeah, if you have enjoyed watching this tutorial, give me a like and subscribe. Also, I will be happy to uh, see your right hands done with the left hands because I know this is a big challenge. So I challenge you. I want to see your sets. Thanks, guys. Bye.